All right. So once again, the this is the uh, the really fun card that I'm making today, which is just it. I just you know um, oceans. You know my favorite place in the planet is the beach. Everybody knows that. That knows me. Um, so anything ocean themed or anything like that, I absolutely love. So this is just a fun. When I saw this set, I was like, okay, this is a perfect set for a gel card. It's just perfect for a gel card, right? And you just you got all this little smushy right here. Okay, isn't that fun? All right, so that's what we're doing today. So let me put that, let me shove some of this stuff out of the way here. I'll turn my fan on. It's getting a little warm in here. Alrighty. Okay. So, how we get started on this very, very cute card. Let me show you how we're going to put all this together. Okay, because I've got all of these little elements here that we're going to be doing. Okay. So first off. To put this all together, you're going to start off with the card, okay? White card stock. Okay, this is 10 inches by 5 and a half here. Let me grab my measurement to make sure I got that right. Yep. Okay, and then I've scored it at 4 and 7 eighths and 5 and an eighth, okay? So that's going to give you what you need for the foam core and then also your gel packet. Okay, so you're going to start off with this. And then what I did from there, okay, is I stamped, okay, I stamped my fishbowl on here. Once I had my paper cut and, and scored, stamped my fishbowl, and then, as you can see, I cut out the center part of it, okay? Now, I left the rocks down here because I wanted those on there, but I cut the rest of it out. So that's how we're going to get started. So that's what you're going to do. Stamp with some black ink and then cut your center out. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mask this. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever done masking before. It's, uh, you know, if not, you know, that's a good idea. Um, if you've never seen masking before and if you think it's something that you guys would like to, to see, you know, um, in more detail, because I'm just kind of brief over it today, um, let me know in the comment section, and that might be something that I can put together and, and do something with masking for, to show you guys how to do masking. Okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what we're going to do with this, now I used, this is Gina K. She has uh, what she calls masking magic. And what I did is I stamped my same image out. And then you're going to peel this off. And it's going to give you a little bit of tack on the back of it here. Okay? Just a little bit. It's not super tacky. Just, you know, enough to where you're going to lay this down on top of your image. Okay, just like that, because what we're going to do now is we're going to stencil over this. Okay, so let me pull my stencil out. All right, so we've got our stencil. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay it down on top. And for this one, I'm just going to tape it down with a little bit of purple tape, okay? Just to kind of hold the stencil down in place. So I'm going to tape this down just a little bit there. There we go. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you these brushes. Now, these brushes, um, I spoke to, to Michelle uh, about these brushes because I just thought that they were just so ingenious when I saw them. Um, she has, you know, she has, as well, you know, as a lot of us do, 
you know, as we get older, you know, you have problems with our hands. And so that's the reason why she originally um, had this designed. Um, these brushes, as you can see, they're, um, oh, what is the word, you guys? Egg and not, no, not egg. You, go, uh, you know what I'm talking about, okay? They're perfect for your your hands, okay? They have these awesome bristles on them, just like, you know, you guys have seen me use the regular brushes, and those are actually makeup brushes, you know? So, um, I don't know if they're necessarily designed, you know, for what we use them for as crafters, but this one is perfect. It's got the same, you know, bristles and stuff in it, but what I like is that it's got this handle on it, and it makes it so much easier to add your ink. The blending is a lot smoother with these. I absolutely love them. And then she has these, these awesome housing units that when you're done using it, you just put it in, and it snaps. And then you can leave it on your desk or put it away or whatever you want to do. And today, you guys are going to be the first ones to see this because these she came out with, um, I believe, a few months ago. Ergomic. Ergomic Girls? Is that how you pronounce it? That's it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I love you guys so much. Okay. This is a smaller brush, which is, you know, the same as the, the bigger one, just a little bit smaller. But again, the control that you can get with these, because with the other ones, when you're using the brushes, the other brushes, when I use them, I put my finger on the end and I kind of hold them that way. And I don't get a whole lot of really smooth coverage. These are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. And I really, really hope that you guys, you know, check these out and buy some of these because they are awesome. Okay, so... What we're going to do then is we're going to start, okay, just by taking our brush here and we're going to put it into the ink and then I always start with my lighter colors first and I'm just going to start putting my ink down on top of my stencil here, okay? It's going to be really, this, this color is really light. And, of course, I'm using my Gina K inks. So we're going to add that light color first. And then we're going to go back. I'm going to get that one out of the way. And then what I do in between colors is I just take, um, you know, like a paper towel or uh, I put a little bit of damp rag down and I just kind of do, you know, get the extra color off but it's really you know for some reason um you can blend colors really easily and, and they don't they don't um mess up on your brushes so which i thought was kind of interesting but i do that because i am a neat freak when it comes to my crafting supplies so you know i like, <laughs> I like everything really really clean okay so then we're going to come back in and as you can, you see how I'm holding this, right? This brush. That's what I love about it. It just gives me so much better control over it. And I love that. Because uh, I was really having some issues with my other brushes, you know, trying to get uh, my, my stuff smooth. Now, this time, I'm not even going to, you know, um, wipe. I'm just going to go into this deeper color and then we're going to add this up here at the top okay now I know you guys have seen me do this many times but you know I wanted to show you uh, her new brush or her new blending brushes and then also um, I wanted to share with you her new stencils okay and then last what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a little bit of this green, this light color green here, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my ink on my brush, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of green in. Okay. 
I just love these. Ugh. These brushes are amazing, you guys. I really, really hope you check them out. Okay. All right. So we've got that done. Okay, so what you're going to do then, seeing you've got your cute little storing station, you just pop those babies right back in. Or if you're going to be using them a lot, um, you don't necessarily have to pop them in. You could just kind of leave them in a set like this, and then you have easier access. But, you know, when you go to pop them in, you'll hear it. It'll, it'll make a sound that it's popped all the way in, and then you know that it's nice and safe. It's not going anywhere, okay? All right, so we've got our stencil done and all of our colors added. Now, when you're going to do this, you're also going to do the this side over here too so you're going to do the um, both sides okay um, I'm not going to do it now because you've seen me do this so just know that you know when you do your card you're going to do the front and the back okay all right so we're going to peel our stencil off here and I'm going to set that off to the side okay there we go let me get this tape out of the way here Okay, and then I'm going to pull this mask off. And then as you can see there, since I masked it, then the color goes all the way around, but nothing got onto my actual fish aquarium. Okay, or my little fish bowl here. Alright, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to color your fish bowl in really quick. Okay. Um, you guys know that I love using my chalk pencils, so that's what I'm using to color. So we're just going to add just a little bit of color in here. Okay, and I'm doing this kind of quick, as you can see, so, you know. You want to, you always want to take your time when you're, you know, when you're crafting. But when I'm doing it for you guys, it's always, <laughs> it's always in a hurry. Okay, so then I come back in with my blending brush here. And then I just kind of blend my colors a little bit so I could do some shading. All right, there we go. And then I just wipe that tip off. Okay, and then also going to come down here and do the same with the stones down at the bottom okay i'm not going to color all of them we'll just do a few but we're just going to add some color here to our stones now you can see i'm not being really precise here when i'm coloring this is one of the things i love about chalk pencils because i can do it this way and then i can come back with my blender brush and blend it in. I'm going to go ahead and color while I'm talking. Go ahead and blend it in. And then that way I don't have to worry about making sure that the, you know, the colors are all perfect or whatever. Because they are. Alright, so now we're going to add just a little bit of blue in here. Okay, so you're just going to come in and color, color your little rocks. Okay, and again, I'm going to come back with my blender, and I'm going to start with my light colors first. Okay, and then I'm going to come back, wipe that off, and then I'm going to come back with my darker colors. Now, if I was doing this for my project, like the ones that I do for you guys to finish it, I would, you know, I would be shading and I would be you know making it nice and pretty for you um, you know for the finished project for this I'm just you know kind of just doing it a little bit quickly just so we can get on to the next step okay so there we go we got our rocks colored okay so then once you have that done we're gonna put this off to the side for right now and then I'm going to show you how to do the gel pack. Okay, now, 
for this, you're also going to need a piece of foam core. Okay? Now, this is, let me give you the dimensions on this real quick. I think it's four and three quarters. Yes, four and three quarters this way. Okay? And then we've got five and a quarter this way. Okay? So it's just a little bit smaller than the inside of your card. Okay? It's just a tad bit smaller. So what you want to do, now when I did mine, I did mine in a circle. Okay? I cut out a circle. And then when I was working on this last night, I thought it would be so much easier just to show you how to do it in a square because it doesn't need to be in a circle. You don't see any of this. So I thought this would be an easier way to share it than try to, you know, cut out a circle and, you know, because it did take a little bit longer. And then when you're doing your pack, I did a, the circle on the gel pack too and that, you know, this is just easier. So I'm showing you the easiest way to do that, okay? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your foam core board, just gave you the measurements, and then you're going to cut out a square that's going to be a little bit smaller than your plastic. Now, before we get started on putting this together, these, what I did for these, these are photo sleeves. And this is by uh, We Are Memory Keepers. They have uh, a whole line of this where they've got these photo sleeves and they have this tool and it's called a fuse tool. Those of you that have never heard about it before, it's called a fuse tool and it's what you do with it is it's hot, okay? So to make your packet, this is what we're going to use to make your pack to make our packets, okay? So you're gonna take the tool. Now, the easiest thing, all right, sliding all over the place. Put it over here so it doesn't slide as much. It's just sliding all over my glass. Okay, so what you're going to do with this, now this piece is really gonna be simple to do for you because they've already done the majority of the work. Okay, because they've got, this is sealed, this is sealed, and this down here is sealed. Okay, so the only thing that you have to worry about sealing for these is the top part of it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it this way, and then I'm going to show you, well, not show you, but then I'm going to tell you how to do it another way where you don't need this tool. You can use something different, okay? Okay just in case if you don't have this tool, you don't want to buy it or whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do, as you can see, it's a pocket. So we're just going to take our cheap gel, and this is dollar store gel. Yes, it is. Okay, my daughter-in-law got this for me. So we're just going to take this, and we're going to take the gel, and we're going to pour it inside the pocket. Now, you don't need a whole, whole lot of this. Okay, because you don't want it so full that you can't do anything else with it. Okay, you know, it's not going to fit in your card. So you just want to put a little bit in, and then once you get it in there, then you're just going to kind of mush it around a little bit. And don't worry about the bubbles, because when I first started making these, I was trying like crazy to get these bubbles out, and, you know, it just, yeah, it's just too much work. So I just decided that, you know, fish have bubbles, so that's what, you know, my fish are going to have bubbles too. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit more in here. I'm going to pour a little bit more in there. There we go. All right. And then again, we're going to take this. Let me turn this paper over. We're going to take this and then we're going to press it down like that. Okay. So to seal this, what we're going to do now, you see this has got a flap up here. Okay, so to seal this, I'm going to pull this over. And if you want to make it easier, you know, easier for yourself, 
what you can do is you can put a little piece of um, tape under here to seal it down first you know before you're going to use your you know use um, the fuse tool uh, but that's that's up to you okay because uh, you're not going to see that you're not going to see it all anyways all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that for just a second and this tool you can also get this metal ruler and what's cool about this is that when you lay this down you lay this where you want this and then the tool works right inside this slit okay so we're gonna lay this down on top let me flip this back around my way so I can see a little bit better okay and I'm gonna lay this down here on the top of my bag there we go and then I'm going to take my tool and you see it's got this nifty little rotary wheel on the end of it can you see that and you're going to take that and you're going to run this right across the top and if you need to do it a couple times, that's fine. You can do it a couple times. Um, I usually do it, you know, at least twice just when I'm doing this because I want to make sure that I get a secure closure. And then you want to test it before you go and you put your card together. You want to test it and make sure that it's not going to come out leaking anywhere because you do not want it to leak okay now this has got a really good seal on it and it's ready to go okay now let me show you how to do it the old school way when I first started making these what I how I would make them is I would take um, you know the the same thing with the photo sleeves okay that, that you can put documents in the big ones and I would cut a piece out but I didn't have this nifty this nifty tool over here so what I did when I created mine is I would cut a piece you know two pieces of plastic out you know the same size and then what I would do is I would lay a metal ruler down but you got to be careful with this okay because um, it you know because it will get hot I would lay a metal ruler down on my edges just like this and then I would take my heat tool and I would run my heat tool across my edges and that's how I would mo uh, m melt the edges of my plastic now that's how I did it totally old school okay so it, you know again if you don't want to run out and buy this tool or whatever this is just a different way to do it just make sure that you know um, you keep your it, you know the best ruler to use for for that type is to use one of the wooden rulers that have the metal edges okay that way you can lay that metal down and then just run your heat tool over it and believe it or not it works and it melts the plastic right up and then I trim off whatever edges I don't want on there and and that's it but it's it's absolutely perfect and it's just another way to do it but again, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. I don't remember what it cost. I've had it for quite some time. Um, but I do know that it's still available. And it is, um, it is a cool thing. And, you know, Rebecca, you do do a lot of shakers. This would be perfect for you for shakers. Okay? All right. So now that we have our pouch put together. Nothing's going to leak out in our card. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay this on the back side and the reason why I know that my this is my back side is because my foam board this particular foam board is two different colors so I used it doesn't matter actually you guys because you're not going to see it but you know I like to be consistent okay so we're going to lay this in here just like that and then I'm going to take a couple pieces of tape to hold this in place 
because I don't want this coming out of my frame. Now, as I said, when I did mine, I did mine in a circle and the whole business, and it was a lot more difficult to do. This is a lot easier to do it this way, so that's why I wanted to show you guys how to do it this way. So tape your, your gel pack down. Okay, I'm going to keep it on both sides. And again, you're not going to worry about anything with this because you're not going to see it, only the center of it. Okay, so once you have that done, there you go. You've got your gel pack now. That's ready to go into your card. Okay, now, but before you put your card together, okay, we're coming back to this. Okay, so then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to stamp up all your images. Okay, I stamped mine up all ahead of time. Okay, so they're already all done. And then what we're going to do now is we are going to glue them on the inside. Okay, and then we're also going to need couple pieces of foam tape all right so on the inside now what I did for this to make it a little bit easier for me you know placement wise is I took a pencil and I just kind of marked lightly where you know uh, everything where the bowl was just so when I would lay my stuff down, I knew that it, you know, it was going to be in the center area where I wanted it. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to open it up. And then what you're going to do is glue down all of your stamped images. Now, again, I stamped out all my images on black ink, uh, with black ink on white cardstock and colored them in with my chalk pencils. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to adhere all of these onto the inside of our card. And we're just going to start, just start laying them down in there. And all these cute little images, right? Oh my goodness. I had so much fun with these. Okay, so we're going to glue these in. And then what I like to do once I get started with gluing these, just to make sure, I like to go back and flip my card back over and, and go, oh, okay, that's all right. Or, oh, you know, maybe that needs to be moved down a little bit. So I like to do that just so I make sure that my I get my placements right where I want them. Okay, and then we're going to finish this up just by adding the rest of the shells. Okay, we're going to put that one there and then add this cute little blue one on the other side. Okay, and again, there we go. like the way that looks. Okay. Now, for these two little guys, what I did with them is because I wanted a little bit more dimension. Now, I, you know, you can't really tell on video, but if you have the card in front of you, you can actually see the dimension with, these, with the two fishes just being a little bit higher than the plants and the shells. Okay, I know it's hard to see on the video, but... You know, when you're making one and you give one to somebody, they are going to be able to, to notice that. All right, so we're going to take a couple pieces of foam tape. Here we go. All right, and then we're going to add that to the backs of our fishes. And you can see this little guy over here. He is staying off until the very end because he's going to go on the front. Okay, so then we're going to peel these off. There we go. All right, and then we're going to come back in 
and place our fishes in. Perfect. Okay, and then this one I like to put just a smidge higher. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, so once you have all of your stamped images in, then what you're going to do, now you are ready to put your uh, gel pack in. Okay, so for this card, okay, you see, make sure everything fits. Yep, okay, everything is good. This should have been this should have been sliced a little bit closer, but that's all right. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and take our glue, or if you're you know using foam or not foam tape, but uh, double sided tape, either one. Okay, and then you're just going to glue your pack right in to your card. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay that in there. I'm going to flip that back, make sure everything is covered. Yep. See, and that's what that's another reason that I say it all the time why I like working with glue because it does give me some wiggle room to where I, you know, I can make sure that everything is in place where it's supposed to be before it sticks. Okay. So now you've got that in there. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take some fibers, and I forgot to cut mine, but you're going to take some fibers like I did here in, on my card, and you're just going to lay them in, you know, put a little bit of glue in your spot here, in your um, fold. Put a little bit of glue in there, put your fibers in there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to glue this closed, okay? And your fibers are going to come out, you know, around the top, so then that way you can um, just tie a knot at the top of them, okay? So we're going to lay our fibers there, we're going to pretend, and then we're going to close this. And of course, as I told you on mine, I did do the back side, okay? So we're going to close that. And now you're ready to just finish it off, okay? Just by adding the rest of your, you know, your little stuff. So what I did for that was I took one of these cute little, here, let me just show you real quick. I'm going to set this to the side. I took one of these front, you see how I did my, my fibers here? Wrap them around and then tie them in a knot at the top. Okay. So then to finish it, I took one of these frames and then I stamped out my sentiment on some white cardstock and then cut it around and put the frame on it and then I just laid it, you know, on top of my card here and then before I glued it in, I took my other little fishy guy here and I cut his tail off. I know, I felt bad. Actually, I cut his tail off because I was going to put him in a different um, spot, but then I changed my mind. So you actually don't need to cut the tail off because you're not going to see it anyways. But you're going to put him in, glue him in, and then glue your frame on top. And then lastly, what I did was I added just a couple stickers to finish it out. And that's how you make a gel card. Now, I want to give you one more tip before we go. If you want a card, if you want to make a card that actually opens, you know, what you can do is you can cut another piece of paper. Okay, now this one is, uh, this is the same size, okay, but we've got the scoring in here too, okay. So this is five and a quarter 
by five and a half, and then you're going to do the edge right here at a quarter inch. And then what you can do before you put your fibers on is you can take this and, you know, if you want to put, um, you know, like stamp a sediment or something, you know, on some white card stock and decorate the inside of it or, you know, or whatever, or write somebody's name, you can do that. Um, or, you know, or you want, you can just stencil the top and the bottom so you have a white area in there to do that. I like to add layers, so I usually like to, you know, stamp something on white cardstock and then put it in or colored cardstock whatever and then what you can do then for this is just take that edge of that fold there and glue that on and again you're going to want to do your backside because your backside is going to be seen as far as I'm concerned you really should but you know it's up to you okay so you're just going to glue that on before you put your fibers on and then put your fibers, you know, glue your fibers in and then glue your fibers to this and then you're not even going to see that edge. And then that way you have a card. Let me do it this way so you guys can see it. You have a card that actually opens. Okay? So I wanted to show you the different variations that you can do if you wanted to do it that way or not. You know, it's totally up to you. You can still write on the back of this if you wanted. You know, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy, okay? But I just wanted to show you the different ways to do it. But isn't that just a super fun card? I just, I just love it. I love playing with this. I made one of these for my granddaughter, and she just, she plays with it all the time. It's just so cute. All right. Okay, so, let me put my camera back up here. All right, there we go. Oh. A little bit okay so wasn't that fun wasn't that fun I absolutely love this card I love it when I could do you know I've said it all the time I love interactive cards they are my favorite because if they can do something that makes me very very happy and this is just another fun card that I pulled out of my toolbox like I said I've been making these for I don't even want to tell you how long because that will age me even more than I already do. So, yep, you can put, yep. Yes, you sure can, Rebecca. You can do that and then hang it up. I actually did a wall hanging this way. Um, I think about a year and a half ago. Uh, you might want to check back if you guys are interested in that. I completely forgot about it until right now. Um, you'll have to go back through our videos on our Facebook page to look. But there is a wall hanging that I did with a ocean theme the same the same way that I did this. So, you know, if you want to see a different variation of it, check it out. It's, you know, it's in the videos. All right, so that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so glad that you guys always take the time to come spend with me every Wednesday morning. I absolutely love it. You guys are the best. The best. So, um, and two, before I go, again, if there's any, you know, any craft ideas or, or, or something that you guys would love to see, you know, see me do, put it in the comment section for me, you know, because that way that helps me, you know, um, kind of figure out what you guys want to see. And then it also helps me not have to think of everything every week. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Being a little lazy there, but, you know, hey. All right. Enough goofiness for me today. Well, no, I'll be goofy the whole rest of the day, but enough goofiness for you guys today. All right, you guys, you have a awesome week. I will see you all next week. Okay. Um, two, I will announce the winner from last week. Okay, I apologize again for that because I do like to do it on air, but I forgot... Well, I just didn't have time, actually. I just didn't have time. So I will do that as soon as I'm done. But thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know, put them in the comment section. I will go over them. Um, I wish you all an awesome, awesome week. And I will see you guys all next week with another fun project. I'm not sure what yet, but it'll be fun. And until then, don't forget to take some time to craft. Because it's good for your soul.
He really is. All right, you guys. You have an awesome week, and I will see you all next Wednesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.